gather round the firebox because it's winter season and I'm going to tell you the tale of Santa's little helper or as his friends call him Basil the bug. Might as well end the year on how we started it right? This poor little engine hasn't always been appreciated but in a remarkable twist of fate it only just managed to avoid being lost forever. The Romney, Hythe and Dimchurch Railway in Kent is a very surreal place, but you know that already because you've seen the first guide rail. There's not many places where you can see photos from a hundred years ago of a miniature railway built to do all the jobs that the big railway did and more. The quirkiest of the fleet is easily number 4. This 040 is a tank engine as well as a tender engine for a start and it was built by the Krauss Loco Works in Germany, 1926. It was modified to help with the construction and extension of the line. But thereafter, it was thought to be too small and slow to be really useful like the big engines were. By 1933, it was sold to the Blackpool Amusement Park, where its toy-like appearance made it perfect as a fairground attraction. Finally, the bug could be appreciated for who it really was, Nope, the Loco was only there for a few years and then it was shipped off to Belfast to run at the Bellevue Park Railway. Here they renamed it Jean for some reason and then they changed their mind and called it Sir Crawford instead. It ran as a railway curiosity until 1950 when it was finally sent off for scrap and that was the end of it. But then, 22 years later, in 1972, Sir William McAlpine was sifting through the scrapyard, as you do, when underneath he found the sad and rusted remains of the bug. He decided to give it a well-deserved second, uh, no, third, a well-deserved fourth chance. It was rescued and sent, ironically, back to the Romney Hythe and Dimchurch Railway, where it was restored in 1974 in Southern Olive Green. Now in the mindset of preservation, the bug quickly became loved by younger visitors and gained the nickname Basil, which led to it sprouting a face when it felt like it. Nowadays it's painted in Stroudley's improved engine green livery and still doesn't get to pull many trains like the other engines, but it does get to show off at special event days instead. The bug's real stardom is during December though, as the railway has built a special sleigh wagon, which it proudly pulls Santa around in. This of course is to recreate the modernisation era, when reindeers eventually got replaced by steam power. From being exiled by the railway it helped to build, re-identified several times and being scrapped for over 20 years, to make a grand return in the spotlight is a pretty insane comeback story. Unless you've caught the winter bug, maybe you could go and visit Basil, number 4, yourself. And you must remember to like and share this video with everyone you know, and even those you don't, because elsewise you're going to be on the naughty list and Basil won't get any coal for Christmas. You don't want Basil to suffer, do you? Merry Christmas! Huge thanks to my brilliant patrons, Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, Sam Bennett, Alco, Henry Forrester, TR2000, Random Thomas Fan, and Peter Davenport.